Singapore must stay independent but be nimble and pragmatic when facing off bigger countries and institutions. Those are some lessons learned from Singapore's involvement in the 1979 Cambodian conflict, said former Deputy Prime Minister Wong Kan Seng on Wednesday. Singapore's foreign service and its development is also essential to our survival in an ever-evolving geopolitical landscape. To ensure that Singapore is well protected, we need to constantly cultivate and rebuild teams with these qualities. The ability to stay focused on Singapore's interests and objectives, think on the feet, speak off the cuff, communicate effectively and persevere against all odds. In January 1979, Singapore and the other four founding members of ASEAN, Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand and the Philippines released a statement condemning Vietnamese occupation of Cambodia. Singapore's Foreign Affairs Minister then S. Rajaratnam stood up to those who took the side of Vietnam. Meanwhile, ASEAN took pains to persuade members of the UN to vote in support of Cambodia at the UN General Assembly. In 1991, Mr Wong Kan Seng, who became Foreign Affairs Minister in 1988, helped to restore Cambodia's sovereignty when he attended an international conference held in Paris to call for a ceasefire in Cambodia. Despite Singapore's intervention, relations between Singapore and the other countries it disagreed with over the Cambodian conflict were not soured. I'm talking about my time in the Foreign Ministry in meeting Vietnamese leaders. While we disagree with them on the position that they've taken and the action that they had on Cambodia, we knew that it was never a personal one. It is always based on our national interests, and we have to make sure that our personal interest, our national interest, is well safeguarded. And it's for this reason that we took a tough stand against the Vietnamese. Mr. Wong said diplomatic visits and economic cooperation helped to boost relations. Vietnam later joined ASEAN and Singapore is now Vietnam's fifth largest trading partner. Establishing economic ties with China like building the Suzhou Industrial Park and Tianjin Eco City also helped in putting aside diplomatic differences. For the highlights of Mr. Wong Kan Seng's lecture, watch the following clips. <laughs> 